How to Be Emotionally Intelligent by Life Success Introduction Embarking on a journey toward emotional intelligence is akin to setting sail across the vast, often unpredictable ocean of our emotions and interactions. This guide serves as both your compass and map, helping you navigate through the complexities of emotional awareness, understanding, and management. Emotional intelligence, the ability to identify, understand, and manage our own emotions and those of others, is not just a skill, it's a profound journey that enhances relationships, career success, and overall well-being. Chapter 1. Understanding Emotional Intelligence Imagine standing at the edge of a serene lake, the surface a perfect mirror to the sky above. This tranquility is akin to the state of emotional intelligence, we strive for a calm understanding and reflection of our inner world and the world around us. Emotional intelligence I is more than a buzzword. It's the cornerstone of meaningful relationships, personal success, and mental wellness. It enables us to navigate the complexities of emotions with grace and understanding. The Five Pillars of Emotional Intelligence 1. Self-Awareness, the Mirror to the Soul Self-awareness is recognizing your emotions as they occur and understanding the nuances of these feelings. It's akin to looking into a mirror, not to scrutinize your exterior, but to gaze deeply into your own soul. It involves asking yourself, why am I feeling this way, and what triggered this emotion? For instance, consider the moment you feel a surge of irritation when a colleague interrupts you. Self-awareness invites you to pause and reflect, is it simply the interruption, or is there a deeper feeling of being undervalued or overlooked? By identifying the root cause, you can address the real issue rather than reacting to the symptom. 2. Self-regulation, steering the ship. Self-regulation involves managing your emotions and impulses. Think of it as steering your ship through stormy seas. You can't control the weather, but you can adjust your sails. It's about recognizing when anger, frustration, or fear is rising and choosing not to let these emotions dictate your actions. A practical example is the deep breath you take before responding to a provoking email. It's the moment you decide to step away and cool down, ensuring your response is measured and constructive, not destructive. 3. Motivation, the wind in your sails. Motivation in the context of I is about using your emotions to drive you towards your goals, not away from them. It's the wind in your sails pushing you forward even when the seas are rough. This intrinsic motivation comes from a place of wanting to achieve for the sake of personal fulfillment rather than external rewards. Imagine working late nights on a project that sparks no joy or personal interest. An emotionally intelligent approach would be to find aspects of the project that align with your values or goals, perhaps focusing on the learning opportunity or the potential to help others. 4. Empathy – Navigating the Waters Together Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of another. It's as if you're navigating the waters together, feeling the sway of the boat under your feet just as they do. Empathy involves more than just recognizing someone else's emotions, it's showing genuine concern and understanding. When a friend shares their distress over a lost job, empathy is not just saying, I'm sorry, but truly feeling their disappointment and stress, imagining yourself in their shoes, and responding in a way that acknowledges their feelings. 5. Social Skills – The Crew of Your Ship Finally, social skills are about managing relationships effectively, communicating clearly, and inspiring others. It's the crew of your ship, each member playing a vital role in navigating social interactions. Good social skills enable you to resolve conflicts, build strong teams, and lead with compassion. An example of this in action is a leader who listens actively, gives constructive feedback, and motivates their team not through fear or authority, but through inspiring a shared vision. As we delve deeper into each of these pillars, remember that developing emotional intelligence is a journey, not a destination. It's about making continuous efforts to reflect, understand, and adjust. Just as the calm lake reflects the sky, your emotional intelligence offers a clear reflection of your inner world and how you relate to others. Let's embark on this journey together, exploring each pillar in detail and building a foundation for a life filled with understanding, compassion, and connection. Chapter 2. 
Cultivating Self-Awareness Imagine embarking on a journey through a dense, uncharted forest with nothing but a compass to guide you. This compass is your self-awareness, a tool that helps you navigate the complex landscape of your emotions and thoughts. Cultivating self-awareness is about understanding your emotional triggers, strengths, weaknesses, and values. It's the first step in mastering emotional intelligence, essential for personal growth and meaningful connections. The Essence of Self-Awareness Understanding your emotional triggers is like learning the language of your own heart. A trigger could be a comment that makes you feel undervalued, a situation that stirs anxiety, or an event that brings back memories. For example, feeling suddenly angry when someone interrupts you might reveal an underlying issue with feeling disrespected or ignored. To identify your triggers, reflect on moments when your emotions intensified. What was happening? Who was involved? Recognizing these triggers allows you to anticipate and manage your reactions more effectively. Self-awareness also involves acknowledging your strengths and weaknesses, the dual blades that you wield on your journey. Knowing your strengths allows you to leverage them more effectively. For instance, if empathy is a strength, you might excel in roles that require understanding and connecting with others. Conversely, recognizing weaknesses is not about self-criticism, but about understanding where there's room for growth. If impatience is a weakness, acknowledging it is the first step to managing your reactions in situations that test your patience. The Role of Values Your values are the stars by which you navigate your life's journey. They influence your decisions, actions, and interactions with others. For example, if honesty is a core value, you might find yourself feeling conflicted when asked to withhold information. Reflecting on your values helps align your actions with your true self leading to a more authentic and fulfilling life. Consider situations when you felt happiest or most proud. What values were you honoring in those moments? Practical Steps to Enhance Self-Awareness Journaling, the map of your journey. Journaling is a powerful tool for enhancing self-awareness. It's like creating a map of your emotional landscape. By writing down your thoughts, feelings, and experiences, you can observe patterns and triggers, gaining insights into your emotional world. Try to journal daily, especially after emotionally charged events. Reflect on what you felt, why you think you felt that way, and how you reacted. Over time, you'll notice patterns that will help you understand yourself better. Mindfulness, being present. Mindfulness is the art of being fully present, observing your thoughts and feelings without judgment. It's like stopping to notice the flora and fauna of the forest, rather than rushing through. Mindfulness can be practiced through meditation, where you focus on your breath and observe your thoughts as they come and go. Start with a few minutes each day, gradually increasing the time. This practice can help you become more aware of your internal state reducing the intensity of emotional reactions. Seeking feedback, a different perspective. Sometimes we need an external compass to help us see what we might miss. Seeking feedback from trusted friends, family, or colleagues can provide valuable insights into our behavior and how we're perceived by others. It's important to approach this with an open mind and a willingness to hear and reflect on the feedback, even if it's challenging. Cultivating self-awareness is an ongoing journey of self-discovery. It requires patience, honesty, and curiosity. By recognizing your emotional triggers, understanding your strengths and weaknesses, aligning with your values, and engaging in practices like journaling and mindfulness, you're setting the foundation for a richer, more emotionally intelligent life. This journey through the dense forest of your inner world is not always easy, but it's incredibly rewarding, leading to greater self-understanding, better relationships, and a more fulfilling life. Chapter 3. Mastering Self-Regulation Picture yourself as the captain of a ship navigating through a stormy sea. The waves are high, the wind is howling, but your hand is steady on the wheel. This image encapsulates the essence of self-regulation, the ability to manage your emotions and impulses even in the midst of turmoil. It's about maintaining control over your reactions and making decisions that align with your long-term goals and values rather than being swept away by the tempest of the moment. Understanding Self-Regulation 
At the heart of self-regulation is the power of pause a deliberate, momentary halt before you respond to an emotion or impulse. This pause is the space where choice resides. Instead of immediately reacting to a provocation with anger, for example, you take a deep breath, allowing yourself a moment to assess the situation and consider the consequences of your next action. This simple act can be the difference between a response that escalates a situation and one that diffuses it. To effectively self-regulate, you must first be able to recognize your emotions as they arise. This means developing an acute awareness of your emotional state in any given moment. Are you feeling frustrated? Anxious? Jealous? Often our emotions can be complex and multifaceted, a blend of various feelings rather than a single, easily identifiable one. By honing in on these emotions, you gain the ability to manage them more effectively. Strategies for Enhancing Self-Regulation Deep breathing and meditation are not just practices for relaxation, they are tools for self-regulation. Deep breathing helps to calm the nervous system and reduce the intensity of emotional reactions. Meditation, on the other hand, trains your mind to remain present and detached from the whirlwind of thoughts and emotions, enhancing your ability to choose how you respond to them. Setting clear boundaries is crucial for self-regulation. These boundaries can be with others such as knowing when to say no to additional responsibilities or with yourself, like setting limits on work to prevent burnout. Boundaries help protect your emotional well-being and provide a framework within which you can operate without overextending yourself. Reframing involves changing the way you perceive a situation to alter its emotional impact. For instance, instead of seeing a failed project as a personal failure, you can view it as an opportunity to learn and grow. This shift in perspective can dramatically change your emotional response and help you maintain a more positive, resilient mindset. The Role of Self-Regulation in Personal Growth Self-regulation is not just about controlling negative emotions, it's also about channeling your energies in positive, constructive ways. It's the skill that enables you to pursue long-term goals with discipline and perseverance, even when faced with setbacks or temptations that could derail your progress. For example, consider the discipline required to save money for a major purchase or to invest in your education. These goals require you to regulate impulses to spend frivolously or to choose immediate gratification over long-term benefit. Self-regulation empowers you to make choices that align with your deepest values and aspirations. Mastering self-regulation is akin to becoming a skilled captain who can navigate through the stormiest seas. It involves recognizing your emotions, employing strategies to manage them, and making decisions that lead to positive outcomes. By developing this crucial skill, you equip yourself with the tools needed to face life's challenges with grace and resilience, steering your ship towards the shores of personal fulfillment and success. Chapter 4. Fueling Your Motivation Envision yourself standing at the base of a towering mountain. Its peak, shrouded in clouds, beckons you to begin your ascent. This mountain is a metaphor for your goals and dreams, and the drive to reach the summit represents your motivation. Motivation is the internal engine that propels you forward, even when the path is steep and the journey is fraught with obstacles. It's about finding and nurturing the reasons why you strive, persist, and ultimately succeed. The Nature of Motivation Understanding the difference between intrinsic and extrinsic motivation is crucial. Intrinsic motivation comes from within, it's the drive to act for the sake of enjoyment or personal satisfaction. For example, you might pursue a hobby because it brings you joy, not because it earns you accolades or rewards. Extrinsic motivation, on the other hand, is driven by external rewards, such as money, fame, or approval. While both types of motivation are important, intrinsic motivation is often more sustainable in the long run. It's the difference between reading a book because you love to learn versus reading it just to pass a test. The Role of Goals Setting goals is akin to mapping out the path to your mountain summit. Goals give direction and purpose to your motivation. However, not all goals are created equal. Effective goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound smart. They provide a clear target to aim for and a way to measure progress. For instance, instead of a vague goal like get in shape, a smart goal would be 
run a 5K in 25 minutes by training three times a week for the next three months. This specificity gives your motivation a framework within which to operate. Strategies to boost motivation. 1. Finding your why. Understanding why you're pursuing a goal can significantly enhance your motivation. Your why is the deep-rooted reason behind your actions, the personal significance of your endeavors. It could be the desire to improve your health, to provide for your family, or to make a difference in your community. Reflecting on and articulating your why can provide you with a reservoir of motivation to draw from, especially when faced with challenges or setbacks. 2. Building a support system. No mountain is climbed alone. Building a support system of friends, family, and mentors can provide encouragement, advice, and accountability, all of which can boost your motivation. Sharing your goals with others can also help solidify your commitment to them. 3. Celebrating small wins. The journey toward any significant goal is made up of countless small steps. Celebrating these small wins can provide a continuous stream of motivation. Each celebration is a reminder of your progress and a boost to your morale, encouraging you to keep moving forward. The Impact of Motivation on Personal Growth Motivation is the fuel for personal growth. It pushes you to challenge yourself, to step out of your comfort zone, and to engage with your passions. As you climb your metaphorical mountain, you'll learn about your strengths, confront your weaknesses, and develop resilience. For example, consider the personal growth experienced by someone who trains for and completes a marathon. Beyond the physical achievement, they learn discipline, perseverance, and the power of a positive mindset lessons that are applicable to all areas of life. Motivation is a complex, dynamic force that is deeply personal and inherently powerful. By understanding the different types of motivation, setting clear goals, finding your why, and embracing the journey, you can harness this force to achieve your dreams. Like the climber who reaches the summit and looks out at the vast horizon beyond, you'll find that the journey of motivation leads not just to the achievement of your goals, but to personal transformation and fulfillment. Chapter 5 Expanding Empathy Imagine yourself in a vast, bustling city filled with people from all walks of life. Each person you pass has their own story, their own joys and struggles, visible and invisible. This city is a metaphor for the world we navigate daily, and empathy is the bridge that connects us to the stories of others. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of another, is a powerful tool for building connections, fostering understanding, and creating meaningful relationships. The Dimensions of Empathy Empathy manifests in two primary forms, cognitive and emotional. Cognitive empathy is the ability to understand another person's perspective or mental state, essentially putting yourself in their shoes. For example, when a friend is going through a tough time at work, cognitive empathy allows you to understand their stress and frustration. Emotional empathy, on the other hand, is the ability to physically feel what another person feels, mirroring their emotions as if they were your own. Using the same example, you would not only understand your friend's stress, but also feel their anxiety and frustration in your own body. Both forms of empathy are essential for truly connecting with others, each playing a unique role in human relationships. The Role of Active Listening Active listening is a key component of empathy. It involves fully concentrating on what is being said rather than just passively hearing the words. Active listening requires you to listen with all senses and provide feedback through verbal and non-verbal cues to the speaker. This level of engagement shows that you truly value their perspective and emotions. Enhancing empathy. Asking open-ended questions is a powerful way to deepen empathy. These questions encourage the speaker to share more about their experiences and feelings. For instance, asking, how did that make you feel? Or, what was going through your mind? Helps you gain a deeper understanding of their emotional state. Practicing empathy can involve exercises designed to increase your emotional understanding and connection with others. One effective exercise is to reflect on a recent interaction you had and consider the emotions that the other person might have been experiencing. Try to see the situation from their perspective, thinking about how their background and experiences could have influenced their feelings and reactions. 
Exposing yourself to a wide range of perspectives and cultures can significantly expand your capacity for empathy. This can be through reading books, watching films, or engaging in conversations with people from different backgrounds. By learning about the lives and experiences of others, you broaden your understanding of the myriad ways people perceive and navigate the world. The Impact of Empathy on Relationships Empathy is the foundation of strong, healthy relationships. It allows us to build trust and understanding, navigate conflicts more effectively, and deepen our connections with others. When we empathize with someone, we acknowledge their humanity, validate their feelings, and show that we care. This not only strengthens our bonds with them, but also fosters a sense of community and belonging. For example, in a relationship, empathy can transform a disagreement from a confrontation into a moment of connection. By striving to understand your partner's perspective and emotions, you can address the underlying issues with compassion and find a solution that respects both of your needs. Empathy is a journey, not a destination. It requires ongoing effort, openness, and the willingness to connect with others on a deep, emotional level. By practicing cognitive and emotional empathy, engaging in active listening, and seeking to understand diverse perspectives, we can expand our capacity for empathy. This not only enriches our personal relationships, but also contributes to a more compassionate and understanding world. As we navigate the bustling city of life, let us remember that every person we meet has a story, and empathy is the key to unlocking those stories and forging true connections. Chapter 6. Enhancing Social Skills Imagine yourself as a conductor standing before an orchestra, each musician poised with their instrument, ready to play. This orchestra represents the diverse range of people in your life, each with their own unique rhythms and melodies. Your role as the conductor is to harmonize these different elements, guiding them into a beautiful symphony. This is the essence of social skills, the ability to navigate, influence, and harmonize the complex dynamics of our interactions with others, creating meaningful and positive relationships. The Foundation of Social Skills At the heart of social skills lies effective communication. It's the bridge that connects us, allowing us to share our thoughts, feelings, and ideas. Effective communication involves not just speaking, but also listening, truly hearing what others are saying, understanding their perspective, and responding in a way that acknowledges their viewpoints. For instance, consider a scenario where a friend shares a problem they're facing. Instead of immediately offering advice, effective communication involves asking questions to understand the situation fully and expressing empathy before sharing your thoughts. Assertiveness is about expressing your thoughts, feelings, and needs openly and honestly, while also respecting others. It's a balancing act between being passive and aggressive. An assertive person can navigate difficult conversations with confidence, stating their perspective without belittling or dominating the other party. Imagine you're in a meeting and disagree with a proposed strategy. An assertive approach would be to express your concerns respectfully, providing reasons for your stance and being open to discussing alternatives, building and maintaining relationships. Building relationships is akin to planting a garden. It requires patience, care, and the right conditions to thrive. Making connections involves showing genuine interest in others, being open and approachable, and offering kindness and support. Networking events, community activities, or even casual social gatherings offer opportunities to plant these seeds of connection. Maintaining relationships is about nurturing those seeds you've planted, ensuring they grow into strong, enduring bonds. This involves regular communication, showing appreciation, and being there for others in times of need. Celebrating successes and facing challenges together further strengthens these connections, creating a robust network of support and camaraderie. Conflict is a natural part of any relationship, but it's how we handle these disagreements that define the strength of our social bonds. Effective conflict resolution involves active listening, empathy, and finding common ground. It's about approaching disagreements with a problem-solving mindset seeking solutions that are acceptable to all parties involved. For example, if you and a colleague disagree on a project approach, instead of insisting on your way, try to understand their perspective. Discuss each other's concerns and look for a compromise that meets both your needs. 
the ripple effect of social skills. Social skills have a ripple effect, influencing not just our personal relationships, but our professional lives and broader community interactions. Strong social skills can lead to better teamwork, leadership opportunities, and a positive social atmosphere. They enable us to build a network of diverse, supportive relationships that enrich our lives and help us navigate the complexities of human interactions. Enhancing your social skills is like learning to be a masterful conductor, harmonizing the various elements of your social orchestra. It involves effective communication, assertiveness, building and maintaining relationships, and managing conflicts with grace. By developing these skills, you can create a symphony of meaningful connections, enriching your life and the lives of those around you. Let this chapter be your guide, helping you to navigate the social nuances of life with confidence and empathy, and to build a network of relationships that are both fulfilling and enduring. Conclusion as we draw the curtains on this journey through the pages of insight and introspection, let us pause and reflect on the ground we've traversed together. From the first tentative steps into understanding emotional intelligence to the bold strides toward personal development, relationships, financial freedom, and wellness, this voyage has been one of profound discovery and transformation. You've been equipped with the tools and knowledge to navigate the complexities of your emotions, to connect more deeply with those around you, to take control of your financial destiny, and to cultivate a state of wellness that resonates with the core of your being. But remember, the true essence of this journey lies not in the pages you've read, but in the actions you take and the lives you touch. As you move forward, let the principles and practices shared within these chapters serve as beacons on your path guiding you through the challenges and celebrating the triumphs. The journey toward self-discovery and personal growth is ongoing, a perpetual cycle of learning, evolving, and becoming. Embrace the journey with an open heart and a curious mind. Let your life be a testament to the power of emotional intelligence, the strength of meaningful connections, the resilience in the face of financial adversity, and the transformative nature of wellness. Share your story, your struggles, and your successes, for in doing so, you light the way for others. And so, as we part ways, remember that the end of this book is not the conclusion of your journey, but a new beginning. A chapter in your life waiting to be written with courage, wisdom, and an unyielding commitment to growth. Go forth with the knowledge that within you lies an infinite capacity for transformation, an unbreakable spirit, and the potential to not just envision a better future but to create it. Let this not be a farewell, but a gentle nudge toward the endless possibilities that await. The world is a canvas, and you, the artist, hold the brush. Paint your masterpiece with bold strokes of passion, empathy, resilience, and kindness. And may your journey be a beacon of light, not just for yourself, but for the world. In the end, the most profound truth we discover is that the journey itself is the destination. And what a beautiful journey it is.